Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine recapping everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. I have gathered a few stories, so let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our stories. Our first story is about the Delhi traffic problem and how AI is going to show the way. So in 2018, drivers in Delhi spent around 58% more time stuck in traffic than drivers in any other cities around the world. So the Ministry of Home Affairs of Delhi was forced to create a solution and they employed a new intelligent traffic management system called ITMS. Such systems use artificial intelligence, machine learning and data analytics tools and apply them to their existing traffic infrastructure. Delhi proposed this project will use over 7500 CCTV cameras, automated traffic lights and 1000 LED signs carrying sensors and camera installed in the city. So Delhi traffic control will use these analytics to make real time decisions about the traffic flow, identifying vehicle number plates and noticing traffic trends. Such systems can help cities plan more effective way to curb heavy congestion. So implementation of ITMS would be beneficial for the environment at large as well as more fuel will be used efficiently in traveling rather than being stuck in traffic. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about Google and how it is going to save languages that are going extinct. Bularu is an interactive educational AI tool that helps promote endangered languages. So out of the 7000 languages used in the world, 3000 are endangered and about every 14 days a language is going to go extinct. So Google's art and culture decided to protect these languages because a language is an integral part of a community's culture. Therefore they created an artificial intelligence based open source application called Bularu by discovering the translations for objects objects that are around you. Wularu allows the use of a phone's camera to discover translations for objects around you. This application has an image recognition software and it does run the object from its database and finds out the correlating word for that object in a particular language. So these languages are easily available to everyone around the globe. Currently this application has 10 endangered languages which were curated by the language experts of their particular language. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about the European regulations over artificial intelligence and this article is saying that these are over regulations and this will indeed bog down European Union's AI development. This article is saying that whereas US is partnering AI and humanity and China is partnering its government with artificial intelligence European Union will be in a technologically inferior position globally because of these laws. So US and China are investing heavily into artificial intelligence whereas European Union in terms of population is bigger than both these nations but still the investment is just a fraction amount of what those two countries are investing. Therefore this article is saying that if EU continues pushing with these aggressive regulations and lack of funding it will enjoy global leaderships in AI regulations but won't be surprised if European entrepreneurs decide to launch their startups into more AI friendly countries and that is bad for the economy and the countries at large. This huge amount of oversight will hinder innovation and people with innovative ideas will be stuck in a rut of bureaucracy and will not be able to create their startups. Finally, this article concludes by saying that artificial intelligence is not to create profits but is to help humanity at large and it has a lot of positive sides to it and the European Union should focus on that positive sides and create a regulation which has a harmony and a partnership between regulations and it can also promote innovation. Therefore, they will have to reconsider the current guidelines and will have to lift the restrictions a bit more. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about tech AI's forgetfulness could make them better at their jobs. Artificial intelligence, unlike the human brain, retains all the information that is fed to him because it has no intuition about which information is useful and which is not. Therefore, artificial intelligence still stores a lot of useless information into it, which indeed slows the process and will increase the storage space required to carry out a function. Therefore, Facebook has come up with a breakthrough after which the neural networks will forget a certain piece of information decided by the data scientists. 
So you can basically program these data sets with an expiration date. You can instruct the neural network to forget a piece of information at a particular time in the entire process or at the end of finishing its own task. Therefore, the subsequent process will become fast and the requirement for memory storage will be low. But this will increase the time required for data labeling. So time will tell that if it is a worth trade off. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about Veritone which we have also discussed in our previous episode but this time Veritone has launched a new platform to let celebrities and influencers clone their voice with artificial intelligence. So voice synthesis is pretty common by artificial intelligence and Veritone is trying to leverage this technology for so voice synthesis is something that is regularly happening in the world of artificial intelligence and Veritone is now trying to leverage that technology for actors and influencers to be at multiple places in a short span of time. Veritone will help actors and influencers lend their voice to projects that they might not physically be involved in. A lot of artists want to work in various advertisements, in various audiobooks or in animated feature films but they can't be at every place in a short span of time. Therefore, Veritone is trying to create voice synthesis that is so impeccable and indistinguishable from the original and can charge a huge fee for doing so. So they will offer these services by creating a company called Marvel AI which will offer two streams. One will be of self-service model where anyone can pick from a catalog of pre-generated voices and create speech on demand. But the other stream which is their focus where customers will submit training data and Veritone will create a custom voice module for them and them only. This article also goes on to say that something that will give Marvel AI an edge over its competitors which are trying to do something similar because voice synthesis is nothing groundbreaking but Veritone being a traditional advertising and marketing company is going to give them edge over their competitors. So that's about it. Those were all the stories that I have for you today. Thanks for watching this video. Please click on that thumbs up if you like this video that really helps us a lot. All these stories are worth reading in their entirety. Links for them will be in the description down below. And while you are at it, click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from Analytics India magazine.